All right, everybody, I wanted to review uh, the new Peter Jackson documentary um, on World War I for the 100th anniversary. <clears throat> uh, it's called They Shall Not Grow Old. <clears throat> it is um, probably one of the most unique documentaries out there right now. <clears throat> and what I mean by that is this. Um, the Imperial War Museum approached Sir Jackson on um, some date back in 2014. <clears throat> they wanted him to use footage that they had available uh, to memorialize, honor uh, those that had lost their lives uh, and those who had served during the First World War. And um, Without giving too much away, <clears throat> uh, Peter Jackson went ahead and he tried to, he wrestled with what he was going to do. He had to use the footage in a unique way, and I believe that this documentary succeeded. Now, what makes this different is it's not historical in the sense of we are going to learn more about a particular battle or a particular regiment or a particular group. What he wanted to do and what he succeeded in doing was basically telling the story <clears throat> from uh, 1914 to 1918. What he did was he took um, footage that was given to him, restored most of it beautifully, uh, got it so uh, the quick jerkiness of the camera was not... <clears throat> visible. Um, it looks, in, in some cases, <clears throat> because of the colorization that they used, it looks almost like he could have gone out there and filmed some of it today. Um, they slowed it down as he talks. If, if you went uh, and you stay for, uh, through the credits, there's like about a 20, <clears throat> about a 20 to 25 minute documentary afterwards on the making of it. And what they do is they show you how, uh, he, he describes how like the old cameras were these crank cameras. And so uh, depending on how fast or slow the person was cranking the camera, uh, you had the movement of the people. <clears throat> so uh, they, they went to work, they got it so that the walking, everything looked more natural like we have today. Um, they restored the color, they used um, uniforms that were available to them, uh, many of them in Peter Jackson's own personal collection. <clears throat> they used the uh, uniform colors to colorize the, the uniforms. But the main point of this story was, uh, in this documentary, was they had, I believe it was 600 hours of footage, and I forget how many hours of audio uh, with um, many, many uh, men who had served during the First World War. And they were able to basically cut this down. I think he said, like, uh, they ended up cutting it down to, like, and it's 30 hours of footage that was beautifully restored. And um, something like six hours of audio. And they basically edited it down to about an hour and a half, an hour and 40 minutes worth. What you do get in this is a very interesting perspective from 1914 to 1918. From the beginning of the war, of England's involvement in the war, to its end. And along the way, you see this, you hear this. I think, for me, some of the interesting things uh, that were interesting to hear, which I think for today, in today's climate of, um, I don't know how to, how to quite describe it, but in today's political climate, in today's um, moral climate, you heard stories of young men. 15, 16, 17, lying about their age 
in order to serve their country. In one case, uh, they ran a slide at the beginning of the film, <clears throat> and they said the youngest person to have served was 12 years old. I think that says a lot for today, for many today in our country. Um, and I'm not going to go any further than that. It's just something that I think we need to stop and kind of think about. And I think those who are younger, who think they know it all, need to kind of go back and look at history and see what their forefathers and foremothers were willing and able to do. But we go from this patriotic surge, these, these men and young men signing up, going through basic training, beginning the war, and um, that maybe takes about 10 minutes of the film. It's still in black and white, still the original style footage, and then it goes into the colorization as they get onto the battlefield. As they enter the war, we hear the horror stories, we hear the battles, we hear uh, the accumulation of a final charge in no man's land, um, in the foxholes, and what we end up with is, at the end, we have the voices of those who served telling us how horrible war is. How horrible it is, but how willing they would serve again, if need be. It was one that I think, for many, there were times where it brought tears to my eyes. Um, there were things in there that made you gasp. There were things in there that uh, made you laugh. There was there was a few scenes where just the way that they did it, it wasn't this full-on drama, drawn-out thing. Um, Peter Jackson wanted you to kind of get the idea of what it was like. And... Um, for what he had and what he did, he did a great job. I, I will honestly, I will be looking for this on uh, DVD or Blu-ray and buying it because um, it's it's one of those things that's worth it. If I were to give it a um, a rating, I would say definitely it's an eight, nine, ten. It's it's somewhere in there. I I can't really give it, but it's very high in my opinion of. Um, what there is. So if you get a chance to see this, now um, it had come out originally uh, for Veterans Day last year, 2018. It had a run December 27th of last year. It was sold out, so they did it again uh, for last night, January 21st. Last night, I would say there was about 40 to 50 people in the theater to see it. It was definitely something that uh, is an event. Uh, Fathom Events is, is the one doing it, so look it up on their uh, website. It's definitely something worth seeing. Uh, there were there were 3D showings. We, we saw a 2D showing, and it was still something that I was just fully uh, in, in, in Engaged in. In fact, uh, I needed to go to the bathroom for maybe the last 45 minutes of the film, and then also the um, documentary on the making of it. And I didn't get up. I just was glued to my seat, watching this thing, hearing the voices of the veterans telling their stories, telling us um, what they went through. It was definitely something that you need to see. If you have a chance, see They Shall Not Grow Old. It, it, you will not regret it. It is something uh, unique, something interesting, something awesome. Have a good day.